Kavian Lewis. I live in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm 21 years old um, and I'm about to be, well, I'm switching majors, so I'm about to be studying physics and mathematics at Louisiana State University, Shreveport, which I know is on the complete opposite side of the spectrum. People never expect that when I tell them I'm a writer, but I love both, so I do both. I'm also a young adult librarian, so I'm the person you see at your local library who's running around the library with teenagers and trying to get people to read the YA books. Um, in a nutshell, it's about a biracial girl um, named Evie, and I'm biracial as well, if you can't tell, so it's own voices. She lives in an apartheid world um, where people are given jobs and purpose basically by whether they are white or not white, um, aka the white class and the dark class, and she's in the half class because she falls between the cracks. Um, she's trying to fight against the system, but she ends up getting intertwined with the people who run the system, aka um, the prince and the king, and there's romance and drama and everything that I personally adore as a reader. Super complicated, heart-wrenching romance, um, morally great characters. Also, I would love to um, push my book towards a biracial, or market my book towards um, the biracial readership out there. I know that there is a growing amount of people in our society who don't fall into one category. Um, white, black, Asian, Latino, and I'm so glad that with the Own Voices movement there are more opportunities for people to see themselves, or for people of different races to see themselves in characters, and I would love to push my book towards that sort of readership. There are so many different stories in the world. Our world is so diverse and colorful, and as an author I would like my message to be that I, I think our stories should be just as diverse and colorful, not necessarily even in terms of diversity and race and sexuality, but in terms of content. Like, there are millions of different people living millions of different stories in real life, and I think that novels should reflect that. People do not always fall into boxes. People will never always fall into the boxes that we can make as humans. There will always be boxes that can't fit everybody, people who don't fit everywhere, and the dangers that trying to divide people up can, can cause. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your consideration and I hope you enjoy the book.